Good evening, y'all. We got an awesome video in store for you this evening. We are going to be upgrading this Acer Nitro 50 with this RTX 4070 goodness. This Zotac's going to love its new place in the Acer Nitro 50. Also, guys, you're probably wondering if you look inside here, this looks a little bit weird because it's not an AIO, but you're going to have to stay tuned for more to get more info about this big radiator that's in here with this uh, fill tube on the top because this is liquid cooling in a pre-built. Anyways, guys, stay tuned for more because we got a lot in store for this video. All right, guys, let's jump right into this upgrade. You're going to want to pull your graphics card out. You're probably going to want something like this iFixit kit. I'll have it linked uh, here or down in the description down below. But anyways, guys, you don't need this, but this really helps doing PC repairs. It also gives you a little tray for uh, putting your screws and doodads when you are unscrewing stuff. So we're going to come to the rear right away. And we want to remove these two Phillips screws to get yourself a number two Phillips and slot that on. <sighs> Tech Nitway, you got butterfingers today. Go ahead and open the door. And you're going to want to instantly pull this eight pin, wiggle and jiggle, pull straight back, tuck that out of the way for later. Set your screwdriver down, and our liquid cools, liquid cooling stuff, our AIO slash liquid cooler, this is an actual liquid cooler, a little bit in the way. It's kind of hard to get down here because it's a little bit tight, so I'm going to switch to a flathead to help me push. Keep that Phillips around. You'll need it for later. And just line that up way into the back right there. So I'm going for that tab. Yay, there in the under. Just give it a little bit of a push. Now your graphics card is free. Go ahead and wiggle and jiggle. Make sure you don't pull on the fan. And that is our 1660 Ti out. Of course, you see Milo's on the set. He's uh, assisting Tech Nitwit. Oh, he's done. He's had enough of it. He's like, I'm out of here, guys. All right, so you can take your 4070. Uh, one thing I do want to do is show you how big of a graphics card can fit in here. Um, so if you're looking around and you're wondering, we can fit. 12 inch graphics card, but with the bumps out, with the bump out and stuff like that. Let's get this in here more where the graphics card actually sits. And we're looking, yeah, 12 inch graphics card would fit, but I would, to be safe, I wouldn't go over uh, 11, in, 11 and 7 A's, really to be safe, you know? Because I mean, you can see from right here, you do got that 12 inch mark, but there's some stuff and wiring and stuff. You want to keep some room there, especially for airflow. If you decide to take this front panel off and put a fan in here, like I did, I installed a slimline 92 millimeter fan. ID Cool or Noctua makes them. All right, so this is really easy. We're just gonna line our graphics card up with the slot. So we want to line the graphics card up with this PCI slot right here and get our tabs in first. So there's some tabs that these tabs you want to make sure go between the motherboard and the case. Sometimes they'll get clipped outside. You want to be careful. So get your, get it get it going kind of straight. And you're going to send it on home. There we go. Close your door and reinstall your screws. And then uh, take your power cable with the power uh, clip up towards the sky. And you want to wiggle and jiggle that guy home, kind of bend it in there so when the case goes back on there, it's nice and tight and neat. Go ahead, come to the rear and replace your two screws right here. Anyways, guys, something I want to talk to you about. We have this Alpha Cool awesomeness in here, and this is not an AIO. If you look, this radiator is thicker. I was going to save this for the liquid cooling video, but I think I'll drop a little bit of a hint here. This does have a 500 watt power supply. This will push a 4070, no problem. If you're feeling a little jazzy and like the 4070 is too much, get the 4060 Ti. I mean, but the 4070 is literally less wattage than an RTX 3070, and this had no problem doing it the RTX 3070. Is if you have a 1650 in here, this is not even going to be plugged in, so you're going to have to unbundle it from here and put the 8-pin in there. All right, guys, so if you order the AIO off of uh, from the other videos that we've done, this is the size radiator you're going to get. Hope that gives you a good size comparison. So if you make your own custom, this is an inch wide radiator. 
That is an inch and three quarters. The thin, fin density on here is a little bit larger, and this thing really cools the PC. Um, other than, you know, maybe the VRM getting a little bit warm, you know, I'm thinking about doing a mod for you guys where they have like little 40 millimeter fans. They're like real tiny and making an L bracket and you can screw it on a screw right there and put it down towards the VRM. Does it need it? I mean, VRM can get pretty hot. I mean, I'm gonna say these PCs are meant to run three to five years and then you're gonna get something new. That's about how long I want it to last. If you're trying to get more out of it, I wish you luck. Um, you're gonna wanna really build a PC. But I did, other than that, guys, I really think we should get off to the gaming and benchmarking and see what this bad Mamma Jamma can do with the 4070 in it. So once you get done installing your PC and you power it up, things might be a little bit funky. Windows is acting a little bit weird. Let it do its thing. Give it a couple minutes. Boot into Windows. You know, log in. First thing you're going to want to do is go to the NVIDIA site. And whatever card you have, you're going to want to go on the site. And I'll refer you to the video that I have not made yet, but it will be made. And it's going to probably be like a short, medium-sized video. And it'll walk you through on how to install NVIDIA drivers. Actually, if you watch my DDU video, that's the same thing, just skip the DDU part. That's if you're having like graphical problems and issues, you can use DDU to um, help remove those issues. So guys, make sure you update your NVIDIA drivers. You can wanna go to the website, you know, NVIDIA drivers, or type in NVIDIA support drivers in Google, and it'll take you right there, bing, bam, boom, download them, install them and off to the races, you're gonna be gaming. I would say this is a 100% wanted upgrade for this Acer Nitro 50. This thing will have you running some 1440p gaming awesomeness. I will, I'm not gonna say you're gonna be able to do everything on ultra, but you'll, you'll be very close to running things very smoothly at 100 frames per second on a lot of games. Unless you're talking some indie weird, weird games. But other than that, yeah, I would say I'm gonna give this upgrade two thumbs of approval. And yeah, do the RTX 4070 because that's where it's at if you wanna play some uh, awesome games and have some awesome good graphics. And it's just hands down unbeatable. And if you wanna make your PC cool, Get yourself a 40 XT45 Elf Cool AIO slash not AIO uh, radiator and grab two knock to a 92 millimeters and pump that heat right out of your computer. Let's just go and run an OCT benchmark really quick just to show you where we are with our numbers. So right now you can see our total CPU usage 100%. Let's check task manager and see if that's actually the case. Our computer is not lagging, is not stuck. We're at 100%. Let's check performance. We're at 100% on all cores and all threads. Let's see what our temperature is running at. Our max is 61C. We got core 5, which is 64C. Our max is 64C. So this thing's really doing a good job of pumping the heat out. Anyways, guys, stay tuned for the next video of me putting a liquid cooler in this Acer Nitro 50. And that's all, y'all. Hope you liked the video and I'm out. Hey guys, it's Tech Nitwood here. Make sure you guys subscribe and like and hit that bell. Thanks.